Did you know that the best way to declutter your home is one space at a time? And that the steps for decluttering are the same no matter which room or closet or drawer or anything that you're decluttering. Here's how to declutter any space in your home in seven easy steps. It's true, the best way to declutter is one room or space at a time. And it's also true that the steps for decluttering are the same no matter what space you're working on. I call these seven steps your decluttering success strategy using the acronym SUCCESS. The first S in your decluttering success strategy is for start smart. Begin decluttering in a space that will give you the quickest win with easier decisions and minimal sentimental items. Ideal starting places for this are places like the closet or the bathroom or even a pantry because things in those spaces tend to get cluttered but they're easier to clear out because there's not a lot of sentimental items in them. So therefore there's not a lot of emotional attachment. By starting where you can achieve a quick win, you build yourself up for success rather than being discouraged by any perceived failures. So look around your home, maybe do a walkthrough of each room, jot down which spaces need to be decluttered, then choose one to start with that will be fairly easy to declutter based on this criteria. The U in success is for unload your space. You want to completely empty the space you're decluttering. This could be a room, a closet, or a drawer. Remove everything from the area so you can see everything that you have and begin with a clean slate. Things will seem worse while you've got more piles everywhere, but don't give up, keep going. If you need to, start with something small like a drawer. The first C in the success strategy is for categorize your things. Once your space is empty, even if it's just a drawer, sort through the items that you've emptied out and sort like with like. For example, if you're decluttering a wardrobe, place all the tank tops together, all the t-shirts together, all the shorts together. If you're doing a kitchen drawer, place all the forks and knives and spoons together, things like that. That way you can see how much of each item you have and this makes it easier to identify any duplicates or things you no longer need. The second C in the success strategy is for choose what to keep. Decluttering is not about lack or scarcity, but it's about making room for the things that matter. When you're deciding what to keep, ask yourself things like, when was the last time I used this? Do I have space for it? Do I have more than one of this item? To help you decide what to keep. The E in success is for eliminate what you don't need. So eliminate, choose what to let go of. Letting go of items that no longer serve you can be challenging, but it's a necessary step Otherwise, you're just moving your mess from here to here to here, and you're not making your home any more clutter-free. Be honest with yourself about what you truly need and value. The next S in your success strategy is for sell, donate, or trash. This is where you actually donate or toss the items you're parting with. There are so many places that will take your items, including thrift stores or sometimes even churches and shelters. Even stores like H&M accept clothing, not even clothing that you've bought there, to be recycled. Do a search for your area and choose your favorite place. Don't let those bags or boxes sit around in your entryway or your trunk for days or weeks. Get rid of them. The final S in the success strategy is for savor the peace. Take some time to savor your newly decluttered space, even if it's just one closet or one drawer. Congratulate yourself on a job well done. You deserve it. Count this as a win and keep that in mind for next time you need to declutter. Decluttering is best done one room or space at a time. And the seven steps are the same no matter what you're working on. Start smart. Begin with a space that is easy to clutter and will give you a quick win. Next, unload your space. Completely clear out your room, closet, or drawer that you're decluttering. Categorize your things. Sort like with like so you know what you've got. Choose what to keep. Decide what you need or want to keep, what you have space for, the things that matter most to you. Then eliminate what you don't need. Decide what you can sell, donate, or trash. And then actually donate or toss those things you're getting rid of. Don't let them take up space in your home or your life any longer. Then finally, savor the peace. Take a little time to truly enjoy your newly decluttered space 
and hold on to that feeling for the rest of your decluttering. If you like this video and want more ideas and inspiration for how to create a more stylish and organized home you love, be sure to give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any new videos.